today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this video intro which I'm going to be using for my channel. So lots of you on my Instagram were asking how to do this. So I thought that I would help you and I'd show you what to do. So what I did to start off with, I searched up light pink heart PNG and I really like the first one that came up so I just chose the first one and I saved it to my desktop then open this picture up in Keynote which is down here and as you can see this is the one that this is the document that I did before so what you need to do you need to so I'm just going to add slide and this you need to go to document and then you need to make sure that the size of it is 1350 by 760 and the background's white or any colour that you want your background to be but I just chose white for this video and then I went on to insert choose and then I just got this picture that I wanted I just deleted the stuff in the back, you don't need that and then I just held shift and resize this to make it the size that I wanted it. And I just found the middle, there we go. So this is the heart that we want. And then you have to just go up into text. And then what I'll do, I'll just type in my name again, like I did before. And then I use the font Genesu. Just resize it to make it as big or as small as you want it. Don't make it too small because you won't be able to see the effects but don't make it too big either. And then this bit is optional but I chose to do it because I thought it was cuter. And then I went to text again and then I used the font, I don't know its name, but it's this one here. It's MW Heart from Dafont. I downloaded it and you just use a lowercase f and it does a little heart with a smiley face in it and I thought that was really cute so I decided to use that and I just resized that as well and then I just put that here next to it because it's cute and then I selected my text here I pressed animate add an effect and I, pr I use the effect called squish so if you don't want to find that that's all the way down here that's just squish and to make it look a bit more cool I press random And then you want to press the little heart, add an effect, and shimmer. And then you want to change that well, first one to after transition. And then you want to change this to after build one. So if we just preview that together, that is... Yeah. And then you want to go File, Export to QuickTime, and then just zero here, zero here, and that's fine. You can do 180p, but for the purpose of this video, that's just fine. So then you want to go to Next, uh, Intro, Export. And then you want to go to iMovie, as you can see this is what I did before. And then you can just go into the import media button, desktop, and then just import it there. But I've already got that up so I'm not going to do that. Um, so here it is, here's mine. So what you want to do is want to select the whole thing and then import it. And I don't know if you can see but on this clip here I actually have a little video here that goes underneath the clip so I'm just going to copy that and then so let's just put this clip here and let's overlay it on top so right now you can't see it but just press this button here which is two boxes and you don't want to go on cutaway you want to go on green slash blue screen 
so then it lowers the opacity and makes it look better. So let's go back, just play that. So then what you want to do, as you can notice here, I've actually got some sounds in here. So I have the sounds of a typewriter and I have a little jingle song and then the camera shutter which is for the smile at the end. So what I first did, I went to audio and I typed in pendulum because I've already found them before this while I was just scrolling through them but these are the ones that I used so it would just be quicker if I just showed you the ones that I used. Then I just scrolled down and I inserted that but I don't really want to crop that down so I'll just copy it from here. And then I made it quieter up here as well so it's only on 22%. And this is what it sounded like. Yeah. And then I went on to typewriter, which makes the sounds of the letters falling down. So I just typed in typewriter. Obviously, as again, I've already, I already found this. So then I just went down and I cropped it to the point where the letters stopped falling because there's no point in typewriter carrying on when there's nothing else to type. So the letters stop falling around here. So let's just crop that to there. Yeah, that's okay, about right. So let's just see how that sounds. And then finally, for the little heart, what I typed in was camera shutter. Just see how that starts. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, so that's the finished product. Thank you so much for watching this. I'll put all my links to my Instagram and stuff below. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Okay, so thank you for watching and bye!